Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO live stream. Hopefully this is working. I don't even know what is going on. I'm, I may or may not have already been live like a couple minutes ago, but um, this new YouTube studio streaming platform is total garbage. It was saying I wasn't straight. Okay, now it says I'm live. There we go. It says I am finally live. About time. Dude, YouTube. Okay, it was because I had a different stream key. That's why I was like, bruh. Like, are you serious? Like, how am I not live right now? It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, guys, we're going to be streaming some Rillaboom VMAX today. I didn't really go too ham on the new cards because day one prices are terrible. Uh, unless you're trying to stock up on Dedenes and stuff. But we're just going to be chilling out and playing some Rillaboom VMAX today. Just for a bit. Not going to be a super long stream anyways. Tomorrow, I'll probably stream a little bit longer. But yo, Star, Saber, and James. How you guys doing? But yes, we're going to be streaming some Rillaboom. This is the list that I've got today. Um, it's my Rillaboom VMAX list. I'm telling you right now, dude, getting boss's order was such a pain, bro. I had to overpay so much to get two of these. I did go for a full art because it is a full art boss's order. Not too worried about getting that. But, bruh, getting a reverse holo, getting a bot, getting boss's order was like, dude, you had to pay like over 10 packs. It was bad. Uh, my day's going good though. And, uh, yeah, we are going to be playing some Rillaboom today. And then tomorrow I'm going to stream a little bit longer after I record my pack opening. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to only stream for like maybe an hour or so and then I got to eat dinner and then I got to make some YouTube content. I'm going to make, I might go for two videos in the coming days. I have another deck I want to try out that isn't really on the new cards, but it's something cool. Just finished making a Rillaboom. Nice. Yeah, see? This is just how it goes. Uh, yeah, it's out already, Fabian. Rebel Clash is live on PDCGO. I'm trying to, hold on, I'm trying to fix this. Well, I'm not trying to fix anything, but like, I'm trying to get the, uh... I'm trying to see the stream health with the chat. I don't know if that made any sense or not. I don't think it did. Can I hide this? How do I hide this? Well, I can move this? Oh, why don't I just do that? Okay, there we go. Hold on, guys. Let me just... I'm just adjusting stuff. Before we get into some matches here, I'm just fixing some stuff. There we go. Boom. Algon BR, what do you mean? I don't... I don't get that. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be playing some real boom. We'll get right into a game here and just chill out. Play some, play some Rillaboom for about an hour or so, and then call it a day, and then a Rillaboom video will be out tomorrow. Maybe we can uh, kind of tweak the list as we go along. This is the list that I've got. Not sold on the bro. Are you, <laughs> are you serious? Dude, the first match we find is a fire deck. Oh my god. And before it's not, but like, it probably is. Probably is. We're just, I don't even, I'm just gonna concede if it's a fire deck. I'm not gonna... We have one weak RNG in here, but it's not going to matter. We get a Grookey. Oh my god. The, yeah, we're just conceding. This hand is absolute garbage. With how, was that you, Star Saber? Bro, I apologize. You were playing a fire deck, and my hand was like, that was that was a bad hand. I don't play Ornay on this deck. But we're off to a great start with this Rillaboom deck today, aren't we? Okay, let's just try to avoid fire decks. Uh, Do we run into another one? Yo. Oh my god. Is everyone just playing fire? Like, is Rillaboom is just not playable? Dude, this has got to be a troll. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Star Saber. I mean, my hand was garbage. I have no... I don't, I don't play Ornay Rod, and uh, I don't even know this deck can beat fire. I am playing one weak card energy, but it's just not not going to work. But I don't know what's... Uh, it's just, is everyone going to be playing fire today? Because, like, bro, I chose Rillaboom to be the first deck I wanted to play. I was going to actually make a Toxicity deck, but Toxtricity was really hard to get all the pieces. Like, you need the Garbodors, the Toxtricities... Um, the speed energy. I don't know. It was just wasn't working. But my next deck I do want to make is probably going to be a Tox Toxtricity deck. Boom VMAX is one deck I'm excited for. Yeah, Boom Boom looks like it's going to be arguably a better deck than it used to be now that we have that. Um, unfortunately, though, we are getting some pretty terrible starting hands here, and we're getting some bad matchups. I don't know what this is. They're playing Fire to counter Z. Yeah, everyone's playing Fire. Fire is just still like the best type in the game. Ugh, these hands are brutal, bruh. I don't even, like, do I want to research? I don't play uh, Ornate Rod, but Cephalon's an auto loss. Yeah, yeah, you can't really beat Cephalon with this deck. I'm just going to concede again, bro. These hands are terrible. Okay, I'm not. they're not bad. It's just, like, I'm getting literal, like, bad starts. And hopefully we don't run into another fire deck. Okay, we're playing a ADP Zacian. I'll, I'll take it. But Cephalon is an auto loss. Yeah, live stream time. Yeah, going to be streaming for about an hour or so. Not gonna be a long stream tomorrow i'm gonna try to stream for a couple hours if i can just today is gonna be a bit of a shorter stream didn't really have all that much time basically when day one sets come out getting my hands on a deck that i want to make one stream on can be very very hard to do 
because the prices are so high it's super hard to actually get um super hard to get the new cards and make a deck that i want to build especially with boss's order being a thing but boss's order was so hard to get i i think i paid i paid nine packs reverse all boss's order which is such a bad deal because boss's order's value is gonna is gonna go down so much in like a week or so so paying nine packs for boss's order reverse hollow is not my ideal way to spend my day one packs i was almost tempted not even to play boss orders in my decks because i have no interest in trading 10 plus packs for a boss's order non full art like that is just ridiculous but it's what it had to be i managed to beat a baby blinds with real boom but they had bad draws i was thinking about staying in that game just because i do play four marnie in this deck but my hand just wasn't like bro i had a research and two real booms I don't really think, like, I was gonna, like, yeah. I didn't want to stay in that game anyways. You know. What's the best card in the set? Uh, Boss's Order, Eldegoss, and, uh... Dragapult VMAX, and Scoop Up Net. Those are the four best cards. Now I have not heard about Toxtricity Mill. It's interesting. I was gonna play a Toxtricity deck for the stream today, but again, just getting my hands on all those cards day one doesn't really sound fun. I mean, I had a lot of packs. I'm not really going for too many big investments today. Usually on day one, I try to like get like 50, not really, but like I try to get a bunch of like good cards. Like I'm trying to, like I try to get all the secret energies, try to get a bunch of Dedenes. I'm not really doing that today. I don't really feel like it's a good idea because there's just too many good cards in this set. Like I got to bling out Big Charm, Scoop Up Net, Full Art Boss's Order. I got to get Dragapult. I got to get Eldegoss. I got to get Twin Energy. This, this set just feels like there's more important cards to go after. Plus Secret Frost Mob, so like... I didn't. I wasn't really feeling the, uh, the stock up on Dedenes today. Even though I am gonna maybe talk about a bit. Of, I'm, I'm trying to get a few quick balls because I feel like quick balls value is gonna skyrocket, or at least keep going up. Yo, I appreciated Star Saber. I appreciate it. But yeah, uh, have you guys opened up any Rebel Clash packs today? Let me know what you've been pulling. Um. Okay. This hand is not ideal. We can get a Rillaboom though. We don't have a Grookey unless we go Jirachi. Could just go Jirachi. I think we just go Jirachi here. ADP Zacian is definitely an interesting matchup for this deck. I don't know if it's good or bad. We'll find out. Let's Stellar Wish. Hmm. No netball to be found. That is a shame. I pulled a full art Sonya. Nice. I opened up a few packs, like maybe 30. I didn't really pull that many good cards. The best thing I pulled was a Dragon Pull V. But yeah, I don't really tend to open packs anyways on day one, even though it's very tempting. This hand is not very good. I uh, will just take the turf field, I guess. What does this do? So check for an evolution grass. I mean, he's probably playing Chaotic Swell. So I don't even know if I'm going to get value out of that. I'm just going to attach and pass. That sucks. We didn't get any Rillabooms or Grookies down turn one. Not very good. Our booster in the shop. Nope, that is tomorrow. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. Boosters will be out in the shop. And I have... I'm gonna get 10k coins. I'm gonna I'm gonna be opening up 50 boosters tomorrow for a video. But yeah, let's see what my opponent's gonna do. They seem to be taking a while to make their turn, so we might just be here for a day. We must be here for a day at this point. Hope the value I'm using a Zygarde deck. Yeah, we'll see. Zygarde's weak to uh, grass, though, isn't it, Star Saber? So, I mean, it's just... Well, I'll take a free win. Free ladder. Free double uh, coins of rewards things still going on. Do we have a trade go through? Let's see. We got four people in the stream, though, by the way. So, welcome, everybody. Hey, let's go. We can bling out the Eldegoss now. Let's go. I sniped an Eldegoss uh, V for um, quite a few packs. But this is the list I've got so far for the deck. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the list? Do you got what like what other Pokemon do you think could go in here? Because I'm gonna be making a video on this deck for tomorrow. But what do you guys think of the list? I like it. I think it's a pretty solid list. The only thing I maybe would change is just take this out, but like because like it's like how are you gonna beat fire anyways? You get even if you play weak RNG, you still get creamed by Blacephalon because they just go they go all in with the uh with the fireball circus. But we do play four Marnie, so like the weak RNG is actually kinda valid. Hi, is French. I love your video. I appreciate the support, man. Let's go full art rainbow wear team yellow ground. That's nice. It's a pretty good list. All right. The only reason I have the Dalmai is because I'm not playing a 3-3 Rillaboom line because you only need two Rillabooms because you two get knocked out, you lose the game. But like the whole idea could be like you make him go through uh, two Rillaboom V-Max and a Rillaboom V or you can make him go through a Dalmai. So I was like, yeah. 
I had Snivy. So oh shoot, I, I had Snivy Sore originally in here, but like I took it out because then I realized, wait, we have bosses. Why would I play uh, Snivy Sore when we have bosses? Or you know, what I mean, it's just it's kind of silly. But let's do another game. Pray we don't run into a fire deck. That would suck. That would suck. I would play a Dragapult deck, but like I don't really plan on doing a Dragapult video right away because I've, it's everyone's gonna do one, so it's like. You know, trying to stay away. Plus, I'm a rogue guy. I'm not really too big on the meta deck. So, Dragapult VMAX does look very fun to play. Uh, there's a big tournament that I'm going to be entering um, in a couple uh, couple uh, days. That uh, is going to be a Rebel Clash journey. So, I might be playing a Dragapult deck there. Real Boom, the list is fun. So far, it's not playing very well for me, but it's all right. Oh, my God. Another fire deck, bro. Okay. This is this is ridiculous, bro. Okay. <laughs> can we not hit fire decks? Like, can we hit? I'll take a. I don't know if I ever would say this, but I would rather take an ADP Asian deck than playing against a fire deck, dude. We've only found four games, and three of those games are against a fire deck, bro. What is the luck today? Is everyone just playing fire? Like, bro, another fire deck. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Man, I love day one so much. I don't like Drachi and Rillaboom. I just, it's really just there, so like you have extra pivots for finding a skateboard or finding netball. Bro, what are these hands? We've been just beginning some awkward starts where we haven't been getting any ball searches or anything. I don't know. Isn't it Mewtwo? It's not. Okay, that is definitely not Mewtwo. Bro, if I have to concede one more game because of my opponent's only a fire deck, I'm done. If you're just going to concede, you should take out the weak art energy. Yeah, maybe. But at the same time, like you need it for the fire deck. If you're going to play this deck seriously, you, you probably need an answer to fire because fire is still really good. That hand was beautiful though for supporters. It was beautiful, but literally, I don't think we've had a starting hand yet. Bro, did we seriously run into another fire deck? What? Where are the new decks and where are the ADP decks? What? This is ridiculous. I should probably stop going first because we're playing a welder. Oh my God. I cannot get a good hand to save my life. Dude, this is ridiculous. Are we playing against Puka? We're not up against Puka, are we? I put in the Sceptile for Bob. Ooh, that's a smart idea, Fabian. Bro, our Elo's tanked. Oh my god. This is ridiculous, though. I think I want to hold the turf field, but I want to play it now to thin the deck. It's tough. Yo, Tornado Boy, how you doing? Uh, I should have just went with Toxicity, honestly. I mean, Rillaboom's a fun deck, but when you run into nothing but fire, bro, what the hell? This is like, bro, I'm trying not to get too triggered, but like, this is just some terrible freaking luck. You can win this simply because of tag team. Yeah, I know. But like, bro, he's playing Charizard. He's playing Charizard. And he has the turn one welder with two energy. I mean, bro. Okay. Well, at the very least, Double Blaze can't knock me out. Oh, no, it does. It does 400 unless he has six energy on it. Oh, yeah, it outrages me. Okay. Let's see, we draw here. Okay, there's the Boomer V Max. Our hand is still a big Garbo, though. Too bad you're not playing my low tick. I should have just won with my low tick, honestly. I wanted to play Real Boom, though, because it seemed like a fun. Oh, we priced Wacky. Yeah, but Real Boom just seemed like a really fun deck to play, so I was like, yeah, let's just play some Real Boom today. My character. I got. I got the. I have a lot of Charizard bling going on right here. I got the Charizard outfit and the Charizard Y deck sleeve box, but bro. Why is everyone playing Fire, bro? I don't get it. Dude, this is actually kind of sad. Yeah, I would be crushing. It sucks. Agreed this, uh, that this looked more fun. Yeah, really, but it's just a funner deck to play. Um, So we lose here if this guy has another welder, two energies. Okay, we're conceding. This is just... Bro, my evil is going to freaking tank if I keep conceding to fire decks. Okay, if I run into one more fire deck, guys... Bro... Mm. I might just take viewer battles. I don't want my elo to go super low when I'm trying to record a video, dude. No thanks. Oh my god. This is actually nuts that everyone's just playing fire. Best East show player? I wouldn't say that would be... I wouldn't say I'm a great player, but I wouldn't say I'm a bad player. I'm a, I'm a decent player. Okay, we finally ran into something that wasn't a friggin' fire deck. About time. I've cream rushies are before. You just go with the baby cards before they attack. Yeah, maybe... I don't know. Our hand was just not very good either there. That was just a matchup where we didn't... Get a good start. All right, can we actually get like a net ball in our hand? Maybe get a quick ball. Get a. Can we actually get like a good start because we haven't been getting good starts for this deck. Okay, this hand is fine. We, as long as Stellar Wish gives us a net ball, I'll be pretty happy. Yes, indeed, Mina. Thank you for stopping by on the stream. 
Have you qualified for Worlds? Unfortunately, no. The one time I did play IRL, I went 3-3 three three to Regionals. Hey, we're playing against Mewtwo. Ultimate Mewtwo. Okay. <sighs> this hand's not amazing. Actually, what we could do is we could play this. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we got... Okay, this is actually good. We can netball. This, is, this actually works out perfectly. We can netball for the Rillaboom. Put the energy on it. I mean, he's going to play a Codex Wall, but, like, we can do this to get a Grookey down. If we can top deck a Rillaboom, that would be bonkers. I'm a little scared of a Codex Wall here. This deck does rely very heavily on this thing finding your Rillaboom, so... Maybe this deck actually should just play, um... Maybe it should play a Marshadow or something, because these... These, uh... These things are so important to the deck. Play my Lodic? I, I can't. I don't have any my Lodic. So I'm not, I'm not going to trade for my Lodic day one. It's just too expensive and I can't be bothered. I could, I can snipe for my low tick and I can definitely put up some, yep, there's the Caddix Wall. I can put up some bad trades for my low tick. Like, I can make a profit, but like, I don't know. I, it would take too long. Tomorrow, I'll be streaming some, like, tomorrow will be a different deck. Or a bunch of different decks. Because usually what I do for my day one streams, I, I pick one deck and I stream that deck because I know that is going to be like, I can just build a deck that's not going to take too many packs because day one trades are very, very inf inflated. And then day two after the, uh, the packs come to the shop. Whatever I pull is what I make video on. I guess going to my Rillaboom here. The Chaotic Spell is really sad. If we top deck something good, that'd be nice. Okay, I'll take it. So we could do this, and we can research. And actually, if we can get a Rillaboom here, we can hit a Rare Candy off a of Stellar Wish. Uh, the other way around. That's unfortunate. It's going to get me a shame in Prism, I think. We could have knocked him out this turn had we gotten everything. That's unfortunate. Got a Marnie and an Energy Recycler. I think I just take the Marnie. Do we want to Marnie him? I think we do. Okay, we're not in a bad spot, but we're not in a great spot either. If he gets a Soul Burst off, he can double claim and slash my Rillabooms at some point. We could put Life Force in this deck, but again, Chaotic Souls is too good of a stadium. I pulled Rillaboom, VMAX, Eldegoss, two Sanaconda. That's actually not bad. Golden Frostmoth? How many packs do you open up, Dan? Play Rillaboom ADP? I might. I think you have a great deck. Thank you. I guess some late, I guess. No. Cinder's VMAX supposed to be top tier. Nah, Cinder's VMAX is not that great. I think it's actually not terrible. People kind of, people are sleeping on it, but I don't think it's ever going to be like a great deck. But I'm going to make a video on it. I'm going to make a video on a lot of cards in this set. Because this set at least has a lot more f playable cards for videos than Sword and Shield did. But we're getting lucky. Maybe I don't even want to Marnie him because this guy seems to be dead drawn. But no, I guess he could have gone to Dedenny by now. Okay. We'll give him the Marnie. If we can get a good combo here, never mind. I was like, okay, if we can get enough cards to pull off a Rillaboom, that'd be great. Hmm. Yeah, he's already, he's happy I've Marnied him. But, like, he could have gone to Dene. Like, bro, he's, like, playing Quick Balls and Cherish Balls. He could easily could have gone to Dene. So, I don't know. I don't know if that matters too much. Let's get this turf field. Let's pray he doesn't get another Kidex Wall in play. We're in a good spot. We can knock out this Mewtwo next turn if if he doesn't get a big charm. It does suck I had to give him a new hand there. I could have dropped Eldegoss for research. Maybe I should have just done that the whole time instead of marnie him. But again, I, this guy, if he really wanted to get out of his bad hand, he could have just played a Marnie. Or not a Marnie. So, ah, he got the Goose Mahala. No. Well, maybe he doesn't get Goose Mahala here. Maybe he gets, like, something else. We actually knock him out next turn, which is really hype. What are you eating? I'm just eating a donut. I haven't eaten all day. I just had a coffee, and now I have another coffee. We almost got 80 viewers, though. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subbed yet, make sure to do so, because when we hit... If we can hit AK subs literally by noon tomorrow... Or, no, sorry, by 1 tomorrow, when the new set comes in the shop, I will give away... Um, I will give away a Reverse Hollow Jirachi. A Reverse Hollow Jirachi. If we can reach... 8,000 subs by tomorrow at 1 p.m. If we don't, no giveaway. And enter the giveaway, I think I'll make a community post and you guys have to comment on the community post and then I'll like randomly pick a thing. I have never done a giveaway before, so I'm kind of new on this. If he doesn't get a uh, Kadex Swan play, we can possibly get a real boom. All we have, to, literally all we have to do is take out two Mewtwo's, which is super easy. I guess if he gets a big charm on, we can't ever one-shot him, right? Yeah, I think if, yeah, if he gets a big charm on, we can't one-shot him. Which is kind of the issue with this deck. Oh no, we need to put Tool Scrapper in this deck. 
I just realized we actually should put Tool Scrapper in here just in case of Big Charm. Because Big Charm's still going to see a lot of play. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a secret rare. You know what I mean? Rillaboom V is full art vibing. Yo, it's a nice full art. There's some really nice full arts. And he's actually altering creation, which I don't really know if I agree with. Okay, let's rip the rare candy off the Stellar Wish. Ah. I'll take this, though. Because then this gives us a free search. So if we whiff a switching card, though, that'll be pretty awkward. Um, so we need to get rare candy and a switch to knock him out. Bro, we whiffed. We whiffed. Oh, no, we can knock him. What am I saying? We don't need a rare candy. Okay, we won't be able to build the other Rillaboom in the meantime. I'm an idiot. I'm kind of big, big brain, big dumb. Big, big brain, big dumb. What's your favorite Pokemon? Mine is Crew Ninja. Uh, mine's Hydreigon, if you couldn't tell from the picture on my thing. Hydreigon, so I just love Dragon Pokemon. Hydreigon is so cool, bro. It's a, it's a dragon with, like, a bunch of heads. How can you not like that? All right, here we go, guys. First max beating of the day. We are going to go one, two, three, and take a knockout here for 280 damage. Bye-bye, Mewtwo. Didn't stand a chance. And we should be able to win next turn if my opponent promotes Mewtwo and doesn't get a big charm on it. There's a Marnie, number two. Malon is really good. So we can Malana next turn, actually, which I might actually do instead just to heal. And then, then he can't claim it to slash me. Bidoof. Yeah, Bidoof is the best. All of a sudden, I feel behind like I should have some Rebel Clash by now. It sucks. Rebel Clash codes are kind of expensive. Dude, I, on my community post, I posted a, you know, promoting card crafting. Bro, I got, I got like, bare comments of people getting salty. Like, these prices are so bad. You gotta remember two, th or four things. One, I have to pay in Canadian to USD, which Canadian is more than USD. So... Obviously, I'm gonna have to pay more in Canadian if something is USD because Canadian converted is more than USD. Two, you do realize getting codes and stuff right now is not as easy as it once was because of the flipping virus. Three, it's day one and there's more people on PDC Joe. Obviously, the price are gonna be worth more. Those comments, like, ooh, they, mm, they made me a big time salty. Because it's like, bro, you're seriously complaining about inflated prices with everything going on in the world, like, bro. Like, you're not, you're entitled to getting cheap codes, my ass. I don't know, I just, it just rubbed me the wrong way. Oh, so we draw, hmm. So we do win this turn, technically. Uh, so we have to play this, we literally need to get a rare candy off of Stellar Wish. And we have three in the deck. And we can thin the deck out quite a bit. Uh, yeah, let's take this. Play the Malana. Going to Rachi. Do you guys think we need three energy recyclers? Or two? Sorry, I play two, not three. What am I saying? Oh, I forgot I had the Thwacky. We didn't even have to. I mean, I wanted to heal anyways. We do have game here, though. We just go voltage beat. I didn't even need the rare candy. I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have a game of turf field. Whatever. It is what it is. Rillaboom VMAX. Botting uh, Mewtwo. Feels good, man. Feels good. Okay, so we're definitely keeping the Malana because that's important to uh, build this guy up. I might take out the air balloon. I don't know why, like, I put it in, to be honest. Snom? Yo, Snom's busted. Charizard? Yeah, Charizard's iconic. Hydreigon came from one of the best generations. Yeah, I love the black and white era. I think my favorite era of Pokemon would probably be the Johto era. We got 10k coins, so as long as we stay above 10k coins, I'll be happy because I do need to uh, get 10k for tomorrow. But obviously, I could just I could do a bunch of daily evos. Okay, so we need to put tool scrap in here because of big charm being a big issue. No pun intended. We're gonna take out air balloon. I don't think we need it. We're gonna put in a tool scrapper. I don't have a secret rare yet, even though they're gonna drop in price. Uh, what else should we put in here? Do you guys think we need more Pokemon search options? Should we put Marshadow in here because Kedex well? Do we need the three or do we need the two energy recyclers? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? How much for a playset of twin energy? I don't know. Day one prices are hard to uh, hard to catch. You can probably get a secret of twin energy for like 11 to 12 packs or 13 right now. Somewhere in that range. First time catching a stream. Love your content. Yo, I appreciate it, King Furt. So yeah, what do you guys, do you guys think this list is fine? I think we're going to stick with it and we're just going to move on. The Dalmai is going to get taken out of the deck, I guess, but I think it's still fine. I want to have one grass Pokemon in here. Johto, Hoenn, and Unova are my favorite regions. Yeah, Jojo's pretty nice. All right, we can run into another fry deck. Thank God. All right, Marshadow will be huge. Marshadow's really good. I think we should put it in here. What's bopping? What's bopping? Not much, man. Playing some Arillaboom VMAX just for today. And then tomorrow, we're going to play a bunch of different decks once I open up my packs. Um, What is Eldegoss going to be worth? 
It's right now it's around like 14, 13 packs, like for the regular in terms of Rebel Clash. It's probably gonna it's probably gonna stay in that like 14, 12-ish area. It's nowhere near as good as Dedenne's value will be. It'll go up eventually. Like Eldegoss will always be going up in price. So like if you if you go if you want to keep an Eldegoss, you might as well, bro. Like Eldegoss is always, in my opinion, gonna go up in value. Damn, we didn't get a uh I think this deck might need more ball searches. Just we can't seem to get a turn one grass basic that we need. Yeah. This isn't working out too well. Hey LDF, sorry for being late to the stream, busy at work. Got any good polls? Can't wait to open mine tomorrow. Uh it's all good, man. It's all good. Um but yeah, I, my polls have been alright. The best card that I got was a dragon pulled. I haven't opened up too many packs, so I don't really like opening packs day one just because you, you lose a lot of value. I need Gengar VMAX. I was talking about, oh yeah, I was about to say, what do you, it's not in the game. That They're probably going to release Gengar, because Gengar is one of the most popular Pokemon of all time. I think the list is fine, Marshadow isn't really needed because of Chaotic Swell isn't, I don't know, if Chaotic Swell is still big. I don't know if Chaotic Swell will see play with Dragapult, but it's definitely going to see play with ADP. Or maybe not, they, I think it's restricted to Shrine. I don't know, maybe we don't need it. Yo, if he whiffs an energy here, big, big, big brain. He didn't whiff it, yeah, he got a Viridian, what am I saying? Their hand's not ideal. We have to lose one of our Rillas, which is kind of awkward. It sucks that Rillaboom VMAX can't one-shot Zacian. Bro, Zacian is so OP. I don't get it. I want to build Rillaboom. Rilla, it's it's not as expensive as you may think. As long as you already have all the Rillaboom pieces, but you don't need Egg Route, in my opinion. I think, um... I think Jirachi's Rare Candy is just better. Uh, okay, our hand's still kind of sus. I get, actually, maybe we should have boss ordered this, but then we lose to, like, a switch or something. Okay, there we go. We got some good stuff. Good energy here. We're going to anchor anger for 30 days, which is relevant. If you put a big charm on this thing, we actually get to knock it out with uh, really little VMAX. Is there any ways to counter ADP Zacian after the set drop? Plenty. There's Dragapult VMAX, which is really good. Um... Well, I guess there's not a million options. The ADP will still be arguably the best deck in the format, no matter what. Want Garb Garbodor VMAX? That'd be lit. We're probably going to get VMAX Charizard. and Oh, no, we already am. What am I saying? No, we're probably going to get Gengar VMAX eventually. And, and uh, Garbodor. Cinderace Counters looks pretty... What do you mean, Alex? What do you think about the Full Art Shiny Rillaboom next set? Yo, I'm hyped for that. They're giving us all the base set Sword and Shield shinies, but I'm excited for Rillaboom shiny, just because, you know, obviously Rillaboom's actually a good card. You get both Phalanx for sure. Actually, I think I pulled one. I think I pulled one of my, I think I pulled a Phalanx out of the few packs I've opened. But yeah, I'm definitely, I'm going to be doing a video on pretty much every GX in the set, and eventually I'll get to Dragapult. I'll get to Dragapult eventually. So we Tool Scrapper, get rid of this. He's probably plays two, so we kind of wasted it. Well, not really wasted it, but didn't get as much value. I wish I could get damage on these Zacians, though. Zacian is going to be a bit of a pain, but as long as Rillaboom doesn't get one shot. Ooh, we whiffed the rare candy. R.I.P. What am I doing here? We can get Thwacky, assuming it's not prized. Okay, it's prized. Uh, we can go Jirachi. I think we just switch into Jirachi. But then... I mean, ADP is still, like... Doesn't matter what new set comes out. ADP is still gonna be ADP. I don't even think this was the right idea, because now we just get knocked out here by, uh... We get knocked out, then he just knocks us out. Ah, I don't know if we can win this now. <sighs> that sucks. I wish I could make this deck tomorrow, but I wasted all my coins on Unbroken Bonds. That sucks, gold. Good noodle. If you if you got trade law if you had tradable uh, rebel clash packs and you're looking for Dedenne that bad you honestly could just trade it, uh, your packs for those. AP is the most broken deck. I get triggered. <laughs> yeah, I get triggered thinking about it too. I need Gold's Tool Scrapper. Oh yeah, right. Tool Scrapper is a legacy card. Yeah, you're right. I was actually the other day I was thinking about getting Reverse Hall Tool Scrappers and I was like, well, why the heck would I ever do that? Cinderace will be lower tier. But as a, eh, I guess, yeah, Cinderace. I think Cinderace will be okay. It's okay. It's not that great. Does Tool Scrapper take... Yeah, it takes up to two. And you can actually get rid of your own tool if you ever find relevance with that. So we lose here if we don't get to take a knockout. We do lose here if we don't get a knockout, which is kind of rough. 
We have four candies. We still have our stadiums. We have not the lowest odds of hitting the rare candy Rillaboom. <laughs> get the rare candy. Uh, we can revenge him. Well, once he hits a gusting card, we're screwed. This guy has Great Ball. We can revenge him for a not a knockout. Damn, these whiffs are bad. I got PTSD. Yeah, I get PTSD too. PTSD is one of my favorite songs right now, and it also makes me have PTSD when I have to play against this. So I guess we make him go Zacian here. That's fine. Make him go Zacian, knock me out. Unless he... No, there's no way he can take out Delmize. Wait. Oh, we didn't even knock him out of the Grass Pokemon. Or, yeah, he did not get a Grass... Yeah, whatever. We're not going to win this game anyways. Like, we were one turn behind, so there's no way we can win this. Real wouldn't be better with or without Rawag. I don't, that's tough. The problem with Rawag is like it gets knocked out so quickly, and then like you only have one Rillaboom to work with the entire game. Uh, Rawag is honestly, in my opinion, I never thought it was that great with Rillaboom. Four energies. Interesting. Bro, how many Rebel Clashes did any right now? You can get a Dedenne for like 13, 14 Rebel Clash packs. Just the regular art alone. The regular art's always gonna dip in value because of the uh, the promo box thing coming out really soon. Is Rillaboom V in the set, or you you, there's both. There's the, there's the Tim promo one, and there's the one from the set. So they're gonna go for like one or two, two or three Rebel Clash packs, I would say, for the regular art. Same card, yeah. Are you playing Limitless Qualifier two? Oh, good question. I forgot to bring that up. I am, oh, I might not go in the Limitless two. I know I'm like, oh, I want it with my really bad, weird, weirdly built, um, what's his face? Uh, the Bahiam ADP deck. But I, because content creation reasons, I actually might not go in the Limitless Qualifier 2. I hate to say it, but like, it's so early in the morning, and I'm already probably going to be up really late on this game anyways because of the new set, and I want to make content, and my day is going to be filled with being in a tournament, and I can't really make much content. I don't know if I want to do the tourney. I honestly don't know if I have the, the willpower to enter the Limitless Qualifier. I mean, I really do want to join it, but like... Again, I don't really think I have the, uh, I don't think I have the, uh, I don't know if I'll be awake. Uh, I'd rather spend that day making content and maybe even streaming, um, instead of playing in the Limitless Qualifier 2. So, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be playing in the Limitless Qualifier 2. I want to, but, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm telling you, Raticate is the only way. Raticate's too OP. I just got that tool, trainer cool, just for the Dedenne. It's going to be so, it's going to be so good. How many energy break of the root of here? If we're doing, we need to do 250 damage. So that'd be 180. We have to get rid of. We still have to get rid of three energy to knock this out. Damn, that's ridiculous. Oh, literally on the dot. Damn. The only way we can win this is if this ADP's out of energy. Because he can't one-shot me here. But yeah, this is definitely impossible to win. I could see a big charm going in here. Big charm actually makes myself don't have to do 400 damage to you. So maybe big charm's actually better in here. Alright, you love to see it. You'd love to see it. What's your opinion on the new theme decks? Uh, that opinion will be coming out very, very soon because I'm, I'm going to be doing a, a set review or a set review, a theme deck review for the two new theme decks. Those will be coming out around midnight, probably in the next couple days. I might do a few tourneys because I do need to get 500 coins to get both theme decks. So we'll see. So this deck probably still lose to ADP. I don't think you can ever beat it. I think the new set, uh, hit story. Yeah, the new set's gonna be out tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 208. 10 packs? I don't know about that, David. That's low balling. That's, you can definitely get one if you, if you're patient. But, that's, I mean, if you get one for 10 packs, that's like an insane deal. Alright, no fire deck. You love to see it. Are you able to make content for a living, or do you have another job other than YouTube? Well, Peter, I'm actually kind of glad someone asked that. I've actually kind of want to talk about this for a while. Um... I technically do YouTube full time, not full time. It's not like it's not like this is paying for everything in my life, other than you know just stuff. I don't, I don't drive. I live with my parents still because I'm still in college. So YouTube technically is full time. This is my main source of income is doing YouTube, and eventually I will probably go to Twitch. I'm considering making a Patreon too. Um, I just haven't really. The reason I made a Patreon before is I don't really know what I would ever want to do with my Patreon account in terms of like tier rewards. It's like I make a Patreon account. Do I really want to? I don't know what I would do for my tears, but I do want to make a Patreon, and I can make exclusive content for it, but 
I don't know. But yeah, my main source of income right now is just YouTube. And I make enough money to last me a month of whatever I want to do. Like, if I want to go out partying, I want to go to the bar, I want to go see a movie, I want to buy clothes, I want to buy this. But yes, technically I am doing YouTube full-time. Not really full-time in the sense where it's paying for all my bills, because I don't have any bills or taxes. But for the most part, it is doing, it is supplying me with income. And yes, I do want to do YouTube full-time, and I eventually I do want to switch over to streaming and YouTube full-time. That will eventually happen in my life, hopefully. Okay, we actually prized two Rillabooms. I don't want to Marnie him, because it looks like his hand might be dead. We do have a Rillaboom, so I think we're going to hold the hand and just say he doesn't have a supporter. He probably retreats, though, maybe? We'll see. He had a supporter. Have you opened your packs yet? I've opened a few. I had about 426 packs, but I didn't open all of them because opening packs day one is not a good idea. It's fun, but like, it's not, I don't, I don't like doing that because it doesn't make me profit. I opened about like 30 and I have 50 opening up tomorrow for the uh, lock packs. When is the Cinderace and Vitellion? Eventually. I'll probably cover all the VMAXs before I actually get to the uh, normal Pokemon, especially my hype for Twin Energy content. Ooh, twin Energy Man, ooh, it's a beautiful card. Full time, but you're not gonna use your college for a job. Well, I'm act I'm in business and I'm going into marketing whenever college opens back up because of you know the whole thing. So, but once once my college opens back up, I am going to be I'm going into marketing and I, I want to stay in the business field because YouTube is a business for me, technically. So that's why I want to stay doing YouTube. That's why I'm in a business program. But yeah, YouTube I don't think will ever last. You know what I mean? It's, I don't think YouTube will ever last. So. Eventually, I'm going to switch off YouTube and go to something else. Eventually, once YouTube ends, I'll have all this business stuff. Except, I ain't taking accounting, bro. Holy God, accounting sucks ass. I hate that so much. I hate math. But, yes. I'm in business, but technically, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go into a business field because it's, it's helping with YouTube. 2022, maybe? Yeah, ADP's rotating out when... when uh, next Technically, next year. Right? Yeah, ne next summer is when it's rotating out. Ooh, what's a clutch, Marnie? This hand sucked. Just get a Rillaboom Rare Candy. Let's not get a Rillaboom Rare Candy. Hmm, is there any other... I honestly might go to Forgerachi, bro. Like, the fact that we haven't been pulling off Rare Candy Rillabooms... I don't even think we've done Rare Candy Rillaboom once in this entire stream. Might need to figure out more ways... Maybe the Marnies are too overkill. Maybe we should play Cynthia. Because it gives us better odds of finding what we need. We should put a Skyla in this deck. Go Skyla Stadium, Rare Candy. I'm taking a county. It sucks... Yeah, I, bro, I still have to retake accounting for the program I just passed, or just finished, which sucks. The hype is real, standard is good, one more time. Yeah, I think this definitely improves the standard quite a bit, this new set. I just keep getting grass energy. That's a pretty big research, we have to get rid of two stuff, but we have to find the rare candy Rillaboom. Bro, we still didn't get it? Yo, what? Bruv, what do you mean, my guy? Yo, that's actually bonkers that we've been whiffing that much. What's your technical favorite piece, yo, YouTuber? That you watch yourself a lot? I guess Omnipoke? Probably Omnipoke. I watch most of his videos. I don't really watch a lot of PCO YouTubers as much as I would like to. I'm on YouTube all the time, but I don't really... I'm subbed to more non-PCO YouTubers than I am PCO YouTubers. I'm only subbed to like a handful. Most of the content I watch on YouTube is Call of Duty, Fortnite, any video really is, you know. Yeah, we definitely need to play more Jachi in here because it is just, we're not finding Rare Candy Rillaboom at all. Top deck. Whew. That's a good top deck, but not the top deck I wanted. We haven't seen a stadium yet too, which is pretty big for us. It's nice to be a one-shot here, team, without a get rid of energy, so. We could probably dump this. Put that there. I think we should go with three netballs, two quick balls, because we really need to get Drachi right now. I could boss his order one of these Malamars, maybe. He has only played one switch, and he has played an air balloon, though. I don't want to lose my uh, Shaman, though. I actually kind of want to use it at some point as like a nice attacker. I guess maybe we don't need it. 
I guess we gotta sacrifice it. Yeah, I guess we do have to sacrifice Shaman. Alright, we're gonna Marnie him. Yo, if I get Rare Candy Real Boom off this, I'm gonna quit. Okay, good. I was like, bro, can you imagine if we actually got Rare Candy Real Boom off that? Could you imagine? I think Delmize actually should be what we should use next. So we let him knock out Shaman. And then we go Delmize here. That seems pretty good to me. Alright. We should play in Q2. I might- I'm probably not going to anymore just because I- I, I kind of want to just devote that day to playing new decks instead of playing in a tournament that I have to get up at 7 a.m. for. I don't really think that's a good idea, you know? That's just a lot of- it's a lot of energy I, that takes out of me. I could try to pop a sleeping pill before- like, I technically I can stay in the tourney, and if I pop a sleeping pill, or take a melatonin before I go to bed, and if I wake up and I get a decent amount of sleep, maybe, but like, I don't know if I want to- if I want to- if I'm going to be awake for that long, because that's just too much time I got to commit. And with all the hype, bro, I don't even know if I'll be able to sleep. Papa Xanax. I might. I might have to. Could knock out a Malamar here, which actually I might do just to... I might also knock this out, because this thing could potentially knock out Rillaboom in the future. We can avoid a spell tag, so this actually seems fine to do boss's order here. Knock out one of these Mallies. Has he played Ordinary Rod? He hasn't. Yeah, if you, I'm think, I think we go great. I think we go boss's order. He's just, just going to loop a Giratina. Though this thing is kind of scary because he's going to put spell take damage on this. And he already, I mean, do we want to cripple the Malamars? I, there's honestly not much of a point. He already has three in play. I think we just take out this thing. Yeah, he already has three Malamars in play. Uh, we should have probably done voltage beat to build this guy. But yeah, let's just take out this thing. I mostly watch you and Azul. Tends to be quite professional, serious. Yeah, Azul's a good YouTuber. I do watch some of his videos too. Are Rebel Clash packs tradable? Yeah, they are. You can uh, redeem Rebel Clash code. You can't buy them from the shop just yet. I couldn't sleep for the last one and fell asleep in the middle of it. Bro, that four hour stream I did for the Qualifier 2 was honestly really, really fun. Maybe my favorite team I've ever done. But man, bro, I couldn't, like, oh, it was so hard to stay awake. And, like, that's the only problem. The, this, the qualifier is too early in the morning. Plus, it's the old format, so everyone's going to be playing ADP anyways. And Mill. I, I mean, I want to play this Behem deck to a, ro a, a rogue to attorney, but... I don't know if it's worth it to get up at 8 a.m. to play in the old format. You know what I mean? So, I'm probably not going to do... I'm probably not going to do the Loomis 2. I'd rather just devote that day to make content. I'll, I'll stream, and then I have time to make videos. So, yeah. Probably no Limitless Qualifier 2. Ooh, we just knock him out with Anchor here. That's actually pretty lit. So we don't want to Marnie him just yet, I think. I think we could wait a turn. Just gonna knock him out. What time do you wake up normally? Well, for the past, like, week... Um... For the past week or so, I've been waking up at 1 p.m. And I've been going to bed at like 4 in the morning, 3 in the morning. And then I'm waking up at 1, 1 p.m. Which is a pretty good time for me. I like making my videos in the afternoon when it's still bright out. You get good lighting. And everyone in my house is away from my room, not making any noise. Play Granbull in the tourney and punch people? I, I don't know. I probably won't be doing Limitless 2. I'll probably drop it. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. If it, if, if it was dropping a week after... Rebel Clash, I probably would join it, but like, you know, I'd rather just play new decks and play in the old format. Even if I do want to play a rogue meme deck. And if I do battle the meme deck, it would have been for nothing. So I don't know if I'm going to do the tourney. I'm probably just not going to. Uh, what was the friendly battle options? You can, you can choose the format. You can also choose what, uh, what, uh, what set. Or not what set, sorry. Like, you can make a timer. Um, hmm, hmm. do we summon Malana? We do. That's really good. Okay, so let's go do this. Is Wilson playing it either? Yeah, he's doing a thing with uh, Purple Cliff on Sunday. Ooh, there's some Malana. Yeah, he's doing uh, a thing with Purple Cliff on Sunday. It's just I don't know. It's just not really worth it to do the uh, Limitless Two, especially with a new set dropping. It's too early for me. I'll, I'll do... I'll definitely be doing three, obviously, but... 
I don't think it's worth it to do qualifier number one or qualifier two. It's such a it's such it's such an awkward time, you know what I mean? Alright, we marnied him. He hasn't shown any huge attackers, which kind of scares me, so we probably just lose here. Nah, he has to he still has to do a lot of damage, right? He still has to do like 270 damage. I'm waiting for V cards to be evolutions. I don't think that'll ever happen, because I think they'll stick with V Maxes. Love the Secret Sauce deck. Did you try it with the Dis Reload instead of the Dinos? No, I, I stuck with this. I've stuck with the Cinchino. I think I bumped my Cinchino count up actually. They should never rotate Verdino. It'll probably get rotated out, but they'll probably. I, I guarantee Switch will probably come back at some point. Oh, this guy's a little tough one turn. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. So we need to top deck a Switch here to not lose the game. Yeah, we really, we literally need a switch here so we don't lose. Hmm. That's game. Ooh, Rillaboom, not not doing very well. I've been losing a lot of games and I've been winning. I think we definitely need to play more Drachi in this deck. That's like the one thing I think we need to do is play more Drachi. Maybe we could put Aggro in here just so that it's like a decent attacker against the Malamar matchup. I think this deck needs more Jirachi though. I might just cut the weak card. It's like, I know like fire's really popular, but I don't know. It's just not been doing much. I think I'm gonna go three nets, two quick balls. I think, I still think quick ball's good. I might actually take out the one of the energy recyclers. I don't think we need to. But because you have the discard three for knockout, I think, I don't know. Maybe we should keep the energy recyclers. I mean, we need we need one, but I don't think we need two. Maybe we could put an ornate on this deck actually. Okay, we hit a Gramble deck. I actually don't know if this matchup's any good. Gonna be sad when Jirachi leaves. Same. Bro, it's such a good card. Oh, you know why I'm losing? I don't have my Toadow coin. I mean, I'm using my mascot, but I don't have my busted rare Toadow coin. You know that Fortnite sucks. Re, re indeed. That's what I've been saying. Okay, ooh. We got a good hand. This is good. I thought turf field was pretty awful. Yeah, turf field's not that great. It'll be actually, it'll be okay in some grass decks that aren't Rillaboom, but it is pretty good. It might actually be really good in Lost March because I can guarantee you a uh, skip loom. Made a peak of Rama Rayquaza deck for tournament. Yo, good luck, man. They need to reprint Tropical Beach. They probably will. I've always been thinking that it will get reprinted, but they haven't reprinted it yet. That's why I don't have any Tropical Beaches. It's such a bad investment. If I put, if I spend 800 packs on Tropical Beach and then come like a month and a half later gets reprinted, bro, its value will tank and I'll be big salty. I have 20,000 coins. Nice. I'm going to, I'm actually, maybe I'll go, I'm going to try to get as many coins as I can. I'm definitely going to be sticking with a 50 pack opening, but I do want to get the theme decks. So I am going to be doing a theme deck review on both theme decks, which will be coming out at midnight at some point. How do you get the Charizard outfit? You can only get in the Charizard Avatar boxes, which are like, I think per box, it's probably like 40, 50 packs. You could probably get a Charizard box for like 20 packs right now with Rebel Clash, but to get the Charizard outfit, you gotta, you gotta be willing to spend over like probably 6,000 packs worth of stuff. It's ridiculously expensive. It is very, very expensive. I feel like this set is less exciting than the other set. I'm excited, bro. Twin Energy is a mint card. I'm excited for uh, this set more than I was Sword and Shield. Even though Quick Ball is definitely a good card to have. Quick Ball is really good. I think Quick Ball is very healthy for the game. Busted. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for... Uh, even the next set looks decent. The only thing I don't like about this set is how that there's just too many... There's too many good secret rares and full arts you have to get. So I'm, I'm not really too big on the investments today. But I, I do like the set more than Sword and Shield. There's more cards in this set, I think, than Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield didn't really have that many, like, fun cards to play. Do you have a list for this? Uh, yeah, I technically do. I'm gonna be uploading a video on this deck tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tangro the Grass Knot is OP. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be playing that. There's so many, you see, like, there's so many good cards in this deck that make other stuff better. I always like when a set gives us cards that make old stuff better. That, in my opinion, that's really good game design. Like, that's really good game design. It's bad game design when you print cards like Zacian 
and ADP and tag teams in general. It's good game design when you make the format healthy by making old stuff better with new stuff. Tearfield? Yeah, Tearfield. Oh, you can see it's really. Let's see what our pro uh, Dude, why can't you give me double tickets? I hate that, bro. You got these cool double rewards on and you get a tournament ticket. You get one tourney ticket. Thank you for the tourney ticket I can't use because it's only one. Big salty. I saw in trade someone giving two beaches for sleeves and deck box. Yeah, the, the Charizard set that I'm rocking right now is worth like probably around 1,200 packs. Well, if there, if there are like two, it depends. What beaches? 2011 or 2012? 2012 would be 1,200 packs in total. 2011s would be 1,600 packs in total. LDF calls packs from scammy little kids. I've been, I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't say I've been scamming people, but I do, I have been like putting up bad offers on pubs and some of those trades have been going through. So I'm sure those people are little kids who fall for the bait. Mega deck profile. 2020. What do you mean, Fortnite? What do you mean, my guy? Oh, I'm talking about the Thunder Sleeves and Deck Box? Oh. Oh, the Thunder's Box, that's like 10,000 packs. Two Beaches will not get you that. You, you would need like, I don't even know if someone, I've seen people offer up the 12 Beaches for those Thunder's things and they haven't gone through. Because the Thunder set may be 10,000, but just because you have 10,000 packs worth of stuff to trade doesn't mean the trade will even go through because People who have those probably don't want to give them away unless they have multiple of them. Like all the big people that do own those vivid sets, they probably will never ever trade them. Because why would they? That's that's one thing you got to consider. Just because you like, for example, this Charizard set. Someone could offer me 8,000 packs worth of stuff and I still wouldn't accept it because I don't want to ever trade off this Charizard avatar set. You know what I mean? So that makes the value go even up higher. But Beach helps both players. But Beach is also like really... Rare. That, I mean, I guess it is one thing to consider. It does help both people. Sword and Shield had quick ballization. Made, made me feel brain dead. It did. Sword and Shield base set was kind of bad. There wasn't as many uh, cool cards to make videos on. Like, I had to dig. I had to scrape at the bottom of the barrel when I came up with that pinch urn, pin, pinch curin deck, whatever the heck you call it. I had to, like, scrape the bottom of the barrel because, like, I was like, oh, I think I've covered, like, mostly every good card in Sword and Shield. And then I was like, oh, there's this pink churn thing. This thing is mediocre because there's too many switches, but I'm going to make a video on it anyways. Like, I like when sets have a bunch of, like, fun rogues to play because I'm a rogue guy. Uh, where do they come from? Vivid sets? Yeah, the Thunders, Victini, Mewtwo, and Deoxys vivid sets are, uh, I think it's Obstagoon. This should be an easy win. Uh, they're, they were only buyable through Gems in Canada back in, like, 2013. I think they left in early 2014 i could have bought those but bro i'm i'm big dummy my biggest regret in life is not buying those vivid sets bro that dude wait why can't i evolve huh why can't i evolve flacky here i'm so confused oh i'm going first oh i'm going second what am i Re Re oh i wasn't paying attention Oh, Rare Candy Rillaboom for next turn. You'll love to see it. Yo, that is... That's a big, 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 big re-moment right there, guys. We actually get a knockout next turn. Rebel Clash out? Yeah, Rebel Clash is available on PCGO right now. In terms of code redemption. Tomorrow, if you have your coins saved up, you can buy them from the shop at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do any Pokemon profile with a Mega Card in it? Mega Evolutions are an expanded, my guy. Pinkurchin. Yeah, I, I kept calling it Pinchurn, which I was like, bro, that name is too good not to be it. And then I find out it's not. And after I've already rendered and edited the video, I'm like, bro, what the hell? I, yeah, whatever. No one commented about the name, I don't think. So that's good. I was, every time I mispronounce a Pokemon's name, bro, people flay me in the comments. Like, bro, I don't, I don't understand the mentality of some people when you mispronounce a Pokemon's name. Because they get so triggered. I don't get it. It's like, yo, ch my guy, chill. It's just a Pokemon name. Like, calm the F down. Are you gonna do uh, Dragapult? Oh, for sure. There's a lot of really good decks with that card. Um, personally, I think the way, best way to play it is with Malamar because you get access to Esper, Bocephalon. Um, but I know a lot of people are playing it with Scoop Up Net, Zigzagoon, Mewtwo. Some people are playing it with Roxy. The Roxy build is also pretty good. I actually posted an article on a card cabin the other day. If you guys want to check that out, I have. Uh, I talked about two good ways to play Dragapult, and I provided a list for my Malamar version. But I don't know if I'll ever do a video on the Dragapult Malamar deck. Everyone's gonna do a video on Dragapult first, and like, 
not saying I won't get many views on it, but like it's not gonna do as well. You know, I don't. I, I'm, I just don't want to do a Dragon Ball video right away. Anyways, I'll definitely do one eventually. Because Dragon Ball is a very, very good card. You think it's a good way to bunch buy a bunch of toolkits for Danny trades? It's it's okay. Oh no, I'm already. Wait, did he already Cynthia? Okay, never mind. I think he Cynthia. Well, the problem with that is, but the good there's two things of good. There's a problem and a good thing about it. The problem is the Denny's value is gonna go down anyway, so that Denny won't be worth much. But the good news is, my guy, is that the Jirachi was the same. The Jirachi's box thing had a big issue where it actually sold out so fast that they didn't have any more of these in stock at some point. So you can probably get good value out of that because the boxes might go to stock. Because I, I know the alternate Cosmo Jirachi kit did. Okay, I'm trying to think here. What am I doing? Yeah, we're definitely going to go double here. Do we just play the Maulana? I do want to save it, though, because Maulana is really good in this matchup. I think we just take the knockout. He's going to Marnie me. Uh, we don't need the Delmas. So we're just going to take a knockout and hope this Marnie doesn't screw me over. Pokemon fanboys. You can't mispronounce Pokemon name. No, LDF. Pinchurk can re. It is re. It is re. When people comment really stupid things, like, not hate comments, but just, well, I guess hate comments. I, I usually tend to ignore them because it's like, bro, it's just someone over the internet. But the thing that really cheesed me today was on the community post I posted about the Card Cavern sponsorship shout out. Oh, dude, there were some big rees, bro. People complaining about the overpricedness of codes day one. Bro, like, their mentality is so bad. It's like, People be complaining about codes being too much day one. Well, here's the thing. Most, like, people watching my videos will buy codes from Car Cabin in USD. In Canada, Canadian USD currency, Canadian currency costs more than USD. So if you were to get USD currency, you'd have to pay more Canada currency. So obviously in Canadian, the codes will be more than what they are in the US. Plus, day one trades are always very high. More people are paying PCO right now. And two... The virus is shutting everything down, so it's like impossible to even get codes. I don't know. Just those comments were just, oh, they rub me. They just, mmm. I know they're Karens. I know, Andy. This guy's got some balls playing, uh, playing Obstagoon with, uh, my boy. I'm, I'm so glad Boss Order got printed. At first, I was like, yo, this card's gonna make ADP ridiculous, but it actually is healthy for the game because it means less people will play dolls, which is a good thing. Even though dolls is fun to play with hidden run decks, but dolls got abused for all the wrong reason. People just play in them in annoying, like, stall mill decks. So Giovanni's boss order is a very healthy card for the game. So the only thing that would scare me right now is a... What's his face? Yeah, it's the only thing that would scare me right now is a what's his face. No, I'm kidding. Um, the thing that would scare me right now would be a... Uh, Eveltal. Okay, I'm just gonna put one energy on this because we have to at least get rid of one energy here and I don't want to waste all my energy. So we're in top deck mode. So I need to save energy for this guy. So we're just gonna put one on here just in case. We might get knocked out, we might not. We have 200 HP. Who are your top three favorite Pokemon of all time? Hydreigon, Salamence, and... Gengar? Gengar Vanillax. Those are two of my other... Yeah, there's the Sableye. We have boss order, so rip. Rip my boy. Unless he Marnie's. Nope. Unless he uh, resets me. Real ASMR from LDF. I might do ASMR with my new mic. I'm um, wait, dude. I ordered a pop filter like a month ago. It hasn't come in the mail yet. And I ordered it like a place that's like half an hour from my house. Bro, how have I not gotten it? A pop filter. A $10 pop filter hasn't come in the mail yet. Bro, blows my mind. So Real Boom VMAX seems really, really good when you set up. Dolls were so annoying. I know, dolls... I, Dolls and ADP, I think, made standard just the worst, like, format of all time. Can you place Custom Catcher with Eldegoss? Get them back Gusty. Yeah, I would take out Custom Catcher altogether. You get, the nice part about that is you get two free slots because you probably just want to replace two with Boss's Order, and then you have two other spots available. Rayquaza all the way. Rayquaza's a boss, bro. Rayquaza, yeah, it's probably one of my top favorite Pokemon. I put I would put Rayquaza in my top ten favorite Pokemon. It's, it's also got the best Shiny. I love how Marnie from the opponent... Gives me good cards. Marnie is OP though. Okay. I. 
Hmm. Okay, I think I just misclicked there. I didn't mean to, uh... Well, I guess we're all... Okay, we'll get rid of... Mm, do we want to get two real booms? We probably don't need two real booms. I want to keep the quick ball for my own Eldegoss. I was like, oh, we misclicked. We need to get the energy recycler back, though. Boss's order. Give me that Sableye. Busted. Oh, wait. We just grab... Bro, I didn't have to get rid of the energy. No. Dude, what am I doing? <laughs> Oh, why do dark types have to have a weakness to grass, bro? What? Oh my god, I'm so- I'm big dumb, guys. I'm big dummy. I'm big dummy. Alright, we almost got 100 people in the uh, stream, guys. If you guys aren't sub to the channel- Whoa, we got 106 people in the stream now. Alright, yo. You guys are awesome for tuning in the stream, guys. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. If you aren't sub to the channel, guys, make sure to do so. If we can hit 8k subs by tomorrow at 1pm, I will give away a reverse holo Jarachi. Most pink and puke green shinies suck. Yeah, gr the green and brown shinies are trash. Garchomp shiny. Garchomp's one of my favorite Pokemon too, but bro, the shiny version is like not that good. I really want EX and Mega back in the format. They might bring. Ah, oh, we're against a fire deck. Crap. LDF is the best. Yo, I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody in the stream. Indeed, Spike. Indeed. Reverse Jirachi. Yes, sir. How many packs are a secret or a quick ball? I don't know the price exactly. I'm trying to invest in Secret of Quick Ball, so I do want to get more on my account because it's a good investment card. Uh, Secret of Quick Ball is worth like... It's worth quite a few. It's worth around 30 packs, I think. You can get one right now for like 12, 13 uh, Rebel Clash packs. I may we're peeking in viewers, but I'm going to be ending the stream very soon because I have to eat dinner shortly. If you would AK before qualify, you should play in it. I don't- that doesn't really help though, Darth. That's the only problem. The, I, w I wanna play in it, but bruh. I just don't- ooh, rip this hand. I wanna play in the qualifier, but... Again, I'd rather honestly just make content. I'd rather spend the day making content than playing in that. And getting up at 8 a.m. too. Or even worse, 7 a.m.? I'll be running on like a two-hour sleep. I don't know. The last qualifier was fun, but... Especially in the old format. No, no thanks. No thanks. I don't know. I, I do want to play in it, but... I probably won't. $15 on eBay. Mate, would you do a version of Genesis? I might do one too, Char. I actually only have one Selby Prime. But there won't be another Legacy video for a while. It's 5 a.m. here, boys. I gotta crash. Alright, yo. Thanks for stopping by, Alex. Uh, hope to see you tomorrow. I'll probably be streaming in, in the same time frame tomorrow, too, so. How stable are to grab? That's what I'm saying. It's because of the new weakness stuff that got added. When they make a secret rares from cards in the previous set, Big Charm, Berserker, Frostmoth, yo, that, the Berserker and Frostmoth are hype. The one secret rare we're missing is secret rare energy spinner. They should make more full art stadiums, actually. Um, they haven't done one in a while. They need to make a, f they, you know, they gotta make full art turf field, full art chaotic swell. Can you imagine how lit that would be? I know this might traumatize some of you guys, but max beating makes me think of something else. I see what you did there. Okay, no welder's good. Buy another turn to live. That's a bra hand. Marnie. Okay. Not the ideal hand I was looking for. I'll take it though. If we can top like a rare candy here. Yeah, I think we, we have the Degruki. I'm probably never going to use Real Boom in this matchup because, or Real Boom VMAX because there's no point. We could just knock him out with uh, the Real Booms. 35 short and shield packs, one quick ball. It's that much classic? I thought it was like, last time I checked it was like 30. I guess it went up. But yeah, you, uh, quick ball is always going to go up in value. I quick ball, in my opinion, is going to probably be like an 80 doll, an 80 pack card eventually. Not anytime soon. I think like, maybe in like, November set, maybe quick ball will be like, like around 70 packs but yeah quick ball is always going to go up in value because it's literally like the best ball surge card in arguably in the game right now hey fury what's your biggest win streak i think like a 14 or 15 and it wasn't expanded i was playing um i think i was playing lucario focus sash it was either that or i was playing my radicate Sinchino deck i got my secret quick balls one month ago that's a good deal zach because quick ball is always going to go up in value i have five right now and i'm trying to get at least maybe 10 or 11 I saw 38 this morning and didn't know if it was worth it. No, it's definitely not. You can get a quick ball right now for like for like 12 or 13 Rebel Clash Packs at the time of me talking. 
Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna return my Joe stuff. Then, lol. All right. If he whips an attack here, this is really good. He did not whip an attack. Went up same as to Dene, 40 to 50. Oh, I know what Dene went up. The Dene has been like in the low 50s, which is kind of nuts actually. But the reason it went up so much was because, uh, ooh, we're in a bad spot. The reason the Dene went up so much is because. Sword and Shield was just not that great of a set in terms of value, so that's why Dedenne went up as high as it did. I mean, this uh, if I draw rare candy, I'm gonna cry. Rip, bruh. I could just boss his order the Oranguru and then try to get a switch. I could just Marnie him again. Ten secret quick balls, me one. Uh, I want to get quick balls, but oh, yeah, we're gonna lose this. Dude, if you miss the start of the stream, guys, bro, the amount of fire decks I was running into was... Whew, it was making my brain go nuts. Did any going down this month? Yeah, did any... Regular did is going to go down. The full art might keep its value in the in the low 50s. But uh, maybe not. Did any actually might keep going up? Ooh. Fairy and fighting. What on earth? Hopefully we run into some new decks. I haven't played against a single new deck yet. Boss Order is best card in the set. Yeah, Bowser's Order probably is the best card in the set. Any card that goes in every deck is probably the best card. Okay, our hand's a little weak, but it's not terrible. I feel like this deck is missing a way to get... An easier way to pull off a Rillaboom without using Egg Rail, because Egg Rail sucks. So you, if Egg Rail gets knocked out, you're just in a bad spot. Okay, we're up against Guardian. This is a good matchup, I would say. Maybe I should put Dedenne in here. I think, but like if we did Dedenne here, we'd be losing two important Pokemon. So I don't know. Alternate Dedenne looks cute. Oh yeah, that's coming out too. Rule change also, yeah. A lot of Charizard decks today. Yep, everyone's playing Fire because I am playing Lillaboom. I wish I started with an Inteleon VMAX deck, but Rillaboom just seemed like the funnest, because it's Rillaboom. My boy's a boomer. Why don't you add Skyla? I might, actually. I might add Skyla in here. Yeah, I think Skyla would be pretty good. Everyone type F in the chat for fairies. Yo, how are they going to take fairies out of the game when ADP exists? Yo, how could you do that, Pokemon? Just pre-ordered two Pokemon toolkits. Don't know if I should get more. For the uh, Dedenne, it's up to you. Again, Dedenne's regular value is going to drop quite a bit. Um, so, I, I mean, it's up to you. If you need the Dedenne, you definitely take it. Sidere's VMAX with Infernape. I have I've not tried that, Eric. I saw so many random decks like it had Fire Fighting Dark Grass. Yeah, some people have weird decks built. What do you think will be the best decks for Q2? ADP and Mill, unfortunately. That's another reason why I, maybe I don't even know if I want to play it. Because, bro, if everyone's just going to be playing ADP and Mill, I don't want to play against those. Oh, there's, there's not fun to play against. What's your favorite standard deck? That's tough. With the new set, I mean, literally my favorite deck right now would be this Real Room deck. Okay. We draw a Rare Candy here, or we draw a Marnie. We do a Delmize. R.I.P. in the chat. Now we'll do this, thin out the deck a little bit. Maybe we should have gotten a second Grookey there in case he customs this out. It actually probably should have been a good idea. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have gotten Shaman, that was kind of stupid. I might even take Shaman out of this deck, it honestly hasn't been doing much for us. This deck will work by changing Jirachi for two today. I want to keep the Jirachi in it because it, it allows you to find your uh, rare candies a lot easier. I might just go up to four Jirachis, to be honest. Bro, the format for Q2 will be trash. We need people like you to lighten up with fun decks. I know, but like, bruh, it's so in, it's so early in the morning. Okay, this is OP. We evolve, so we we really if we can draw grass energy here. We'll be in a good spot because he can't two shot me. Oh, I guess he could. Oh my, yo, what a draw! Holy crap, that is OP. How much HP do we have? Oh, he'll knock me out with I guess magical miracle, but then he has to waste his Jack attack. 
That was good. That was a really good top deck. I don't think we can respond with a KO though. I should have gotten a Krooky. I should have gotten a Krooky. All right, bye bye Guardian. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to return with a KO, but we can attack with Delmice, which I think I'll do. Can we get a counter stadium? We get a switch, I'll take it. We might get reset stamped. We still have Eldegoss and stuff. Shaman X was good. Yeah, Shaman X was really good. ADP Spirit Tomb got third. Hey, Ali, a big fan of yours. Love all the cool texture pumping out good stuff. Keep up good. Yo, thank you, Garrett. I appreciate it, my guy. But yeah, expect some awesome decks coming out with the new set. Well, he actually, he could custom catcher my Rillaboom. Which I would be fine with because then we can just sit behind a Dalmize. No, he's just going to get reset. He could have reset and knocked out Rillaboom. That'd be kind of scary. He is going to stand me here, though. We have a Drachi. We have all of our stadiums scared of the thing. We still have a lot of searches for Eldegoss. I'm feeling pretty good right about now. And there we go. We got the stadium and the Eldegoss. And an energy. That was a perfect hand, actually. I'm playing Torkoal V, Makargo, and Ranguru. I wanted to try Torkoal V. I actually got almost got bodied by Torkoal V the other day when I was playing around with Bahiam ADP. Because this guy had buff padding. I didn't know buff padding worked with Torkoal without Absol, bro. I almost got bodied, but Vitality Band saved my life. I have a weird deck I made for it. It was Frostwild, Lapras, V, Machilio. That's not a weird deck, though. I wouldn't call that a weird deck. I don't I don't think we can lose this. We do want to get a Marnie. I, if we can top like a Marnie here, that'd be really good. Holy draws. Okay, the only... My main issue... I actually don't know if we have... Um, do we have the other uh, Rillaboom in the deck? We don't. We don't have the other VMAX. Which is an issue. I'm feeling good about this spot, though. We just we can just two-shot him, which I'm fine with. He can't one-shot my Delmize. Ooh, we didn't get a boss's order. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, we do have the Rillaboom. Bruh. I didn't see it. What the heck? Oh, the Netball doesn't search for... Mmm. I am very tilted. Okay, if we get a boss order, we should win this. Okay, we got a boss order. Rip, bro. I'm I'm big dummy. Yeah, it's fine. We'll be okay. I feel like VMAX needs a boost. They haven't reached GX level yet. Yeah, they'll definitely be making better VMAXs in the future. Should I play Qualifier 2? If you want, man. If you want. Like, it'll be fun, but at the same time, again, it's so early in the morning. The only way I could see myself entering it, I'd have to take a sleeping... I'd have to take a sleeping thing... But I don't know if that'll work. I, I might... I don't know. Watch your Droxy EX Samuel deck. That was insane. That was a fun deck. I do have another busted expanded video coming out for a double upload in the next couple days. So keep your eye out for that. I'm not going to say what it is, but let's just say Scoop Up Net is OP with Shaman. <laughs> you make really great videos. Can't wait to set tomorrow. Yo, I appreciate it, Deli. And good luck with your pulls if you open up any packs. Well, they know I have the boss order, so they have to stand me here. If they don't stand me, we win. You should run both most of the Beast Energy and Beastite. It could go in this deck. That I was thinking about putting Buzzmose in here, not gonna lie. My first ever uh, Rillaboom deck actually played the Baby Buzzwolf of Cosmic Eclipse. I feel like VMAX... Yeah, I already read that, derp. Hello, I'm French. Yo, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by on the stream. What's your fun deck? There's a lot of fun decks. And that's game. Alright, Rillaboom VMAX. Unfortunately, it's beating all of... I guess we're, we're getting more against lower tier rogues. It's not doing bad, though. Ooh, it's already 5 o'clock. So, yeah, I might be ending the stream very, very soon. Um, I was only going to be streaming for an hour today anyways, but... This is a knockout round. I'm not going crazy. Yeah, I'm probably going to be streaming for... I only I only plan on streaming for like an hour or so today. Just because of time constraints. But tomorrow, guys, I will be streaming for a lot longer. Tomorrow's stream will probably be like... I don't know couple hours maybe two hours something like that and tomorrow's stream will be better because we'll be playing a lot more decks so yeah i think we're gonna have the stream here it's already five i gotta eat dinner soon and all that good stuff and then i still have to make a video on this deck so uh but yeah expect me to stream again tomorrow thank you guys for all stopping by on the stream and uh if you aren't sub to the channel make sure to do so again if we can hit 8k subs by tomorrow at 1 p.m i will give away a versal drachi 
and, and then I'll post a community tab post and then you have the comment on that to win the Jirachi and then I'll just pick like I'll pick a random comment I'll make you comment your IGN I don't know I've never done a giveaway before but anyways but yeah hope you enjoyed today's stream uh, expect a video on this big boy tomorrow yeah thanks for watching guys uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another live stream most likely and tomorrow we'll have a live stream real boom video and a 50 pack opening so lots of content coming tomorrow and have new I'll have the theme deck reviews coming up soon of the new theme decks and another uh, OP expanded deck so yeah lots of content to come thanks for watching guys